and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about how I personally became a wound care nurse um, because I, I hear quite frequently that RPNs can't become um, wound care nurses. So I just wanted to talk about that today because I am actually an RPN and I became a wound care nurse. So as an RPN, you need experience, okay? Really, that's what's going to get you further as a wound care nurse. So um, what you have to do is get, first off, five years of working experience as a um, wound care nurse. So how you how I personally did that was I worked in the community setting. OK, so um, there is so many wounds in the community setting, um, got lots and lots of experience, also worked in a clinic. And um, once again, it's pretty much all wounds that you're dealing with. OK, so once you get that five years experience, um, you can then get further education. Um, so what I personally did um, to get kind of like my certificate was went and did the IIWCC. So that's the International Interprofessional Wound Care Course. Okay, now that's offered, um, I know for Canada, it's offered out of Toronto, Ontario. So that is where I went for my schooling. Um, and you just for that specific course, you actually have to prove that you do have your five years experience. That's why I said you need five years um, wound care experience. So you would need your manager or boss to sign off um, that you do have those five years experience. Um, so the IIWCC is a uh, one year course and um, it teaches you all about wound care. Um, comorbidities that deal with wound care, um, just all the different types of wounds. You definitely learn a lot. It is a university course, um, lots of doctors taking it. It is an interprofessional course. So um, doctors, physiotherapists, you have a lot of different interprofessionals taking the course with you. Um, it is a high level of education. Um, so it is quite quite a tough course. Um, I know it was quite a lot for me at times, um, working full time and doing the education, because um, it was almost like the education was almost full time. That's how much work you had to put into it. Um, you physically only had to go to Toronto a few times, a few weekends um, for the actual physical education. The rest is done online um, and you just have to submit it by certain dates. Uh, you have a whole timeline that you have to finish uh, everything by. Um, so that's the wound care portion. Now, um, a wound care nurse, it also involves the ostomy and continence care. Um, so you then would have to take uh, an advanced wound ostomy and continence course. Now, I took that out of, uh, once again, the University of Toronto um, to complete that. And it also, um, as long as you um, get a high enough grade, they will take you into the hospital and you will have like your um, mentorship with a um, advanced ostomy nurse. OK. And you'll kind of work um, interprofessionally with doctors, whatnot um, during that time. But you do need those th um, three things so far. And then once you have all of that, um, you will have a mentorship with an ET nurse. Okay, so these are your RNs um, who further their education to be an ET nurse. Um, so they specialize in wounds and ostomies. Um, so you'll get your mentorship with them. At least that's what I did. Um, I had to have her sign off on so many things um, that I could physically do them. Um, she showed me different tasks, um, how to do certain things. Um, it was like very hands-on. We were working in the clinic. Um, and then once she signed off, that's when I was able to actually work on my own as a wound care uh, specialist and resource nurse uh, for the other nurses. So I did just want to share that um, because I know it, it can be um, 
like as a as an R, R, RPN, we do so many things that the RNs do, especially in home care. Um, there was really no differentiating in at least where I was working between the RPNs and RNs. Um, it's pretty much if you knew how to do it, you did it. Um, a lot of education going out with um, the RNs, them teaching you certain tasks. If they've showed you, you feel confident, you do it. Um, so I really feel that if you want to become the, uh, like a wound care nurse, home care is your best chance at doing so because you're going to get the experience, the knowledge, everything that you need um, to succeed in this career. So I did just want to share that with you guys. I hope that it helped you if you are looking at becoming a wound care nurse. Um, and don't be discouraged. If you are an RPN, you definitely can have a career as a wound care nurse. And uh, I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you guys.